638 right now. A Baltimore County woman has been missing now for nearly two decades. Police say she went to the store and never came home. And Michelle Rust was last seen on July 20th, 2002, and her family has been without answers ever since. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live outside of Baltimore County Police Headquarters in Towson this morning with this case of missing in Maryland. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Megan and Christian. In 20 years, no suspects and no arrests. And a viewer actually sent us a letter asking us to take another look at this case. So we talk with Baltimore County Police here about where the investigation to find Michelle stands today. Michelle Russ disappeared on the day of what was supposed to be her son's third birthday party. Her husband told police she left their Halethorpe home to go to the store that morning. Later that day, Michelle's 1998 Green Dodge Caravan was found along a street by Hillcrest Park in nearby Lansdowne. The key actually was in the driver's side door broken off inside of that caravan when it was found. Neighbors in the area were questioned about anything that they may have seen, and unfortunately nobody saw anything relating to how that van got there or who may have driven it. As far as what happened to the 24-year-old missing mom after that, Baltimore County Police Corporal Donna Carter explains why detectives believe Michelle fell victim to foul play. Her credit cards were never used. There was no ATM activity. Her checking account never had checks written against it. So foul play was assumed. Also, she was diabetic and she was a devoted mother. So it just doesn't make sense. Michelle is described as having red hair and blue eyes. She stands five foot four and weighed about 140 pounds at the time of her disappearance. Michelle's family, police, and the community searched the surrounding area to find her. But besides finding the minivan, there have been no leads in this case. And in 20 years' time, police don't have any suspects either. The only people that have been ruled out as suspects are her mother and father. Other than that, there's not really much we can say about who a suspect may or may not be. Meanwhile, much of the science and technology used in finding a missing person has changed over the last 20 years. DNA, cell phone tracking, cell phone video, along with doorbell cameras are just a few of the resources police can now use to get answers for worried families. A person doesn't just disappear off the face of the earth. So it's just so hard not being able to give all of these families answers with as many missing persons and cold cases as we have. You know, we try to work them and no case is ever too cold. There's no information that's too small. We're always hoping to get that little piece of information that can bring closure to somebody. And tonight at six, we'll talk with Michelle's parents about how they've been able to cope over the last 20 years and how they've been able to find some closure. Bernie Live in Towson, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.